Well, this is our truck at Grandma's house. We're about ready to uh, start packing this guy up and uh, see if we can stuff everything we uh, you know, everything we have, everything we're planning to take to Mexico uh, into this truck. That'll include uh, three people, uh, three cats, and, uh, and two bicycles, uh, including a baritone saxophone, a, an alto saxophone, and you know we've got a guitar. So um, we got this guy stuffed on the way out here from Colorado and uh, we probably didn't take much out, didn't leave much here at Grandma's. So um, that means that uh, we're going to be full again. But uh, we're going to start the packing process now. Lex, I have seen and know multiple people who have moved to Mexico and they've only taken one or two suitcases each. We did pretty much the opposite of we, that. We did pretty much the opposite. We had to have a truck and not only that, we had to get a topper on that truck and the sort of the, the extra size taller topper because we had a lot of stuff. What kind of extra stuff were we toting there, Beth um, or Lex? Well, uh, <laughs> we had like two suitcases each, plus a green bag, plus we each had an instrument, and we had all the cat stuff, and we had some of Eric's stuff from college. Yeah, so uh, mm -hmm. so, so when, when Lex is talking about the green bag, these are big army like really, aviator, really big aviator bags. kit bags you know so uh so we each had we each had an extra one of those there was one full of household stuff which uh, lisa put in a big bag of games that uh, we're never going to use and when we get back to the states we're going to drop off and then uh, and, and then and then lisa also had a big green uh, army kit bag full of just her shoes um, I'm not sure if it's all my shoes in there, but it seemed like it was pretty much all those shoes. I mean, from, in my case, I mean, well, my I'm, bag, I, my bag had a lot of shoes in it. Yeah, but, uh, but I need to bring like a lot of extra stuff because, like, I'm just going straight to college. Exactly. So, Lex, so we're taking we're taking Lex straight here from college. I mean, obviously, we don't Holy have. Holy shit! There's like a massive <laughs> bug on that window. We don't we don't have a we don't have a house, you know, back in the states. So anything that uh, Lex is taking to college is in the truck. Yeah. So know? like, I have to bring like all my winter stuff. But, but yeah. no, didn't we? But we put some of that at Grandma's. We put a little bit of that at we Grandma's, but we still have that, we still yeah. have some of it. Still, but, uh, so I have like a bunch of shoes and winter coats, coats and, gloves. and summer stuff like stuff for lacrosse and yeah because because uh, lex is going to school in uh, upstate vermont so where it gets cold so we had to bring all that stuff and you know there's always the possibility that uh, we'll have to go back up um you know either to vermont or colorado so we brought our winter our winter coats and uh, and and we also have a bag full of uh, our other kids stuff because you know, wherever we are, that's that kid's home when uh, when he come when they come home from college. So uh, you know, we got their stuff. Plus, when when Lex talks about musical instruments, we're not talking about nice little musical no. instruments like Mom the flute has a guitar, or the Dad clarinet. has the ultra sax, and I have a barry sax, which is like <laughs> as tall as me. Yeah, the barry sax fits up the uh, the whole back of the uh, whole back of the it's truck. It's like the size of a suitcase, but it's like in a hard case, so you can't condense it at all. No. You know, on wheels, it, uh, it, it's uh, it's pretty big. It's about four feet in in length. So um, when we stuff that truck, as you can see from the video, uh, there's a very specific way that it fits in there, and there's not much extra room, and it has to fit in there. Uh, it, it has to go back in there exactly in that same manner, or it's never going to fit. Uh, you see us at you see us at the end of the video, you know, putting in some putting in some suitcases and trying to get those to fit. So when we're on the road and it takes us a couple of days to get somewhere, we only pull out, you know, one one suitcase each, so we don't have to pull out, you know, everything that's in there. Well, it's one suitcase each plus the cat stuff, you know, the cat, the, cat the cat litter boxes, the cat scratching she posts, works. their food, you know. So uh, yeah. it's uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, packing packing the truck is uh, you know is, is is an interesting is an interesting procedure and. Uh, um, as, as you can see, as you can see from the video, and uh, you know, as you look at this video, it actually took us, you know, we spent two days doing it, and uh, it was uh, over the course of several hours to get everything in there. But 
hope you uh, hope you enjoy hope you enjoy watching us pack the truck, mm. and now you sort of have an idea of why there's so much in that truck. Um, we did overpack, you know, a little bit for what we brought down to Mexico, but uh, um, you know, when when uh, when Lex here goes to college, you know, there's going to be a little more room room in that truck, particularly. Uh, it's going to be one less cat too. And if you notice, mm -hmm. the cats, this, those cats are safely strapped into the back seat. They, um, they have like multiple straps, and I'm there with them, keeping an eye on them, making sure yeah. they're doing okay. You know, the seat belts are fastened, and the seat belt either goes directly through their cage or, it goes or through, through the a, straps a strap. That yeah, are holding them so uh, you know, don't look, don't just look at that and say, oh, yeah. you know, those cats are. Uh, and also, know, like, there's risk. a ton of stuff in the back seat. <laughs> Because like our trunks fill, so we use the vaccine as extra storage. So they're like they're like pretty snug. They're surrounded by stuff. <laughs> like, yeah, you, you can see that in some of the pictures there. Well, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, we'll talk to you uh, talk to you again soon. Bye.